We'll start with the US dollar as we lead up to this speech from Jay Powell. It's come off a little bit. Is, is this, uh, what, how much should we read into the price action today around the greenback? It, it, still, it still trades risk sentiments in a pretty big way on a day-to-day -day basis. So, you know, uh, th there was a story on Bloomberg yesterday, the day before yesterday maybe, but someone saying that the, uh, the long dollar trade is the easiest trade in the market. And uh, my hair stands on end, what's left of it when I hear people saying that. Nothing is supposed to be easy in foreign exchange. Uh, so it's quite yeah. crowded. Um, a rally in equity markets, a bit of a boost from the Chinese and a bit of a sell-off from the dollar. No, nothing else. Still, still, still the best game in town? Yeah, I mean, it's still going to be... I think the, there's more a question in my mind now. I think it's going to stay strong for a long time, more than necessarily go another 10%, if you see what I mean. Mm. In the sense of, you know, the, the terms of trade story, the, the price we're paying for gas, the fact that the US has turned into an energy exporter or the biggest energy producer in the world it is a game changer for what this crisis means for the dollar. But I don't think there's anybody left out there who hasn't spotted how bad the energy crisis is in Europe, how much the Japanese are paying for energy. So, so. Euro, do Euro dollar, that yeah. cross is now more driven by energy than whatever happens with ECB or Fed. Uh, I think so, you know, in, in this cycle, because the terms of trade move is so, the relative one particularly, is, you know, it, it's vastly bigger than anything that's happened since the Euro was started in terms of to terms of trade. So that's not to say that terms of trade will always matter, it's just that this is enormous and much bigger than any shift in, you know, is Fed funds peak going to be three and a half or four? Is it going to be in May next year or, or be pushed out? Are they going to, so, you know, those are, I mean, that's small beer compared to, to how, the big question of how long will this last? And so on that point, what is, what is needed to shore up the euro? Um, a, a sense that, that we know when this ends. So, so if, if, if I was completely convinced, if someone can convince me, you know, that we, we're going to get our gas supplies to a good enough level and we're going to find alternative sources and the gas price that we're going to pay as consumers is going to be, you know, lower by Christmas and then next year this will all be gradually a, a, a bad memory uh, that we can forget, then I would be thinking, all right, how soon can I start buying the euro and the pound on that on that? Prospect. St still I, I a long way from that. Uh, we're, my, well, we're light years away from that day. We just don't know what it feels like today. Is um, you know it, it, that, that this isn't. This is going to get stuck here. This war's going to drag on. Nothing much is going to change. We're still going to be scrapping around. The price of spot gas is going to stay very high. You know, for the rest of this year. And and then what? So. Um, you know, and we and we sit and discuss. You know how deep the recession will be, yeah. and, and so on, which is kind of slightly yeah. marginal. But we have very little clarity. You you've been very straightforward in your views on the pound the last time we spoke, and, and our M Live team pointing out today that even versus the yen, one of the most unloved currencies this year, the pound the pound is faring badly, despite what we've seen in terms of the run up run up in yields. Is is this a potential currency crisis with with, with sterling? Um, no, it's just a potentially, well, it, it could become one. You know, balance of payments in terms of trade don't tend to lead to crises per se. But what we are today, and hopefully this will end quite soon, mm. we're in a massive political vacuum at a time of huge economic uncertainty because of the way we price energy in particular. So, so away from anything else that's going on, with a central bank so that, that is facing a bigger inflation problem and a worse inflation growth, tra growth trade-off than any other major economy. So they're going to have to hit inflation hard and we're going to have to suffer um, and and there's very little debate about whether they, get, whether they should raise rates aggressively and keep on going. There's a few, you know, Danny Blanchflower and people like that who will say, if you know there's going to be a recession, why, why, why keep on hitting this dying animal? But, um, but without all that, you know, it, it's likely to get worse before it gets better. Do we, do we get to parity? No, I don't think so. Um, I don't think we. I don't think we'll get through 110 against the dollar. I'm we pretty sure through, we, we do get through 110. I doubt we'll get oh, through 110. Okay. I'm pretty sure we'll get through 115 at some point. Okay, 115. Maybe 110 is the, is the is the level. That, I, I think you have to have something new and different mm. to get that low. Okay.